What's up, guys? I'm Just a Gamer, and I'm back with another reaction video. Uh, literally just a while ago, I made I uh, reacted to Laisha's Spotlight trailer for Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song, thinking that it was only the second one released, and when in fact it was the third, it was the last one. Uh, the second one came for MM, uh, came out seven days ago, and I had completely missed it. So sorry about that. But yeah, I'm excited to see what this character can do, and yeah, let's jump into it. M.M. is a vampire of the Clan of the Rose. She's an artist. She comes from the world of showbiz. She's flamboyant and radiant, which can be somewhat contradictory in the vampire world. She owns cabaret clubs and is highly visible in Boston. M.M. sacrificed her life for love after falling for a Toreador vampire, Hilda. To keep their relationship for all eternity, she agreed to, or rather requested, the embrace. She has successfully turned her clubs into areas where the clans, whether Anarch or from the major families, tolerate each other. That is something rather unusual. They are neutral zones, like Elysium. MM wants to expand her cabaret network, and this can work in the prince's favor because if she can entice MM with the benefits of expansion, she can use MM and reach Hilda through her. The Toreador clan is a clan of divas and stars. They portray some of the idealized, seductive vampire image that is often portrayed in pop culture. We started by doing lots of research. Mood boards and concept art to define the Toreador archetypes. And then we broke away from that to give MN more of an identity. We gave her two outfits. MN loves making herself beautiful. She owns cabaret clubs. She loves to be on show in her red silk dress and gold sequins. MN goes against the grain wearing outfits you wouldn't necessarily expect. M.M. has a certain ambivalence because despite being a very high-profile character in the Camarilla, but at the same time is questioning her commitment to the Ivory Tower. As a general rule, when you play M.M., she serves an almost ambassadorial role. Whereas the other characters are sent off to conduct investigations and gather information, M.M. is sent to negotiate. During quests, M.M. relies heavily on her vampiric discipline power, Presence. It is somewhat unique to Toreadors, allowing them to use their social aura to influence whoever they're talking to. But she can also use a range of human skills, such as persuasion, etiquette, and psychology. This is what allows her to move in different circles and rally people to her cause. M.M. is a member of the Camarilla, but since she interacts with the various factions around her and people with other ideas and beliefs, she starts to question the rules of these organizations to which she belongs. Are these rules too strict? Does it limit what she can achieve now? When considering quest design for MM, especially level design, you need the levels to branch out somewhat, so players have a lot of choices and a lot of different paths to take. These paths also need a variety of ways to access them, such as unlocking doors, convincing characters to let you through, jumping to a ladder that was previously inaccessible, or climbing a wall. Interesting. Alright, so that was the spotlight trailer for MM for Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. And yeah, I really didn't say much during the actual trailer itself. There was nothing really I felt like I needed to comment on, but definitely the second most interesting. If I had to rank them, I think Galeb number one, then MM, then Laisha. That's my you know, in like uh, interest in levels for each of them. But yeah, uh, MM looked really really cool. I the way they described it, like the her level sounded really interesting whereas in it's mostly about talking to people you know mediating and all that stuff obviously there's traversal and you know at the very end they show her like teleporting to like to reach stuff and things like that but yeah i really dug it and like her story i would you know i want to know what happened to her lover you know how does she connect to the other people it all sounded really interesting and i want to delve more into that and yeah i I really dig this game, and I really am bummed that I have to wait to play it. It's going to really suck having to wait. But yeah, those are my thoughts. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or comment down below. I'd appreciate any and all feedback. Follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, take care and have a good game.